Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will like share with you a video and uh, let's see about a uh, first look about a uh, older uh, Berker uh, Plus design that they released or manufactured from 2007 to 2021 and it is the Berker Plus Kalashnikov AK-101 uh, this is in my opinion one of those uh, older uh, tactical uh, really feels good in the hand designs that uh, Dietmar Paul uh, designed for uh, uh, Bucker and uh, he is famous uh, for those of you who don't know uh, for the company Paul Force who is uh, he's, um, uh, operating and owning and uh, making a line of uh, tactical uh, oriented uh, knives and uh, this design was in my opinion one of the one of the first uh, Kalashnikov uh, designs that they were uh, made in this line. Obviously, there are lots of automatics, uh, 74 and so on, that uh, Berker is uh, producing still to this day. And uh, this old uh, one is unfortunately discontinued, but the good news is that uh, in 2023 uh, they are bringing up uh, a new uh, revised version of this that is called the uh, Kalashnikov uh, AK-101-2 um, oh, and uh, when they will be available I will try to get one and make the comparisons so okay uh, let me give you the quick specifications so the model number is 01KL011 everything will be in the description down below of course and we have a over length of 25 cm that is 9.8 inches so this is a, a huge uh, full-size tactical knife. Uh, the blade is uh, 10.3 centimeters uh, long or 4 inches with a cutting edge of 9.3 centimeters or 3.6 inches. The blade width is 3.5 centimeters or 1.4 inches. The thickness is 3.7 millimeters or 0.1 inch. Uh, the hand length is 14.2 centimeters or 5.6 inches without the uh, glass breaker and the thickness is 1.6 centimeters or 0 0.6 inches given that this is a uh, older uh, design um, Berker did use uh, 440c on this one with a satin, uh, satin or should I say bead blasted uh, finish a nice really beautiful drop point uh, recurve uh, blade which unfortunately uh, was made as a straight uh, drop point for the 2.0 version. The handle is made out of a Zytel or injected molded nylon and it has nested full stainless steel liners. There are no skeletonization. Liner rock. For pure assembly, we have brass washers. We have also his ITEL backspacer. The pocket clip is a uh, true deep carry and it is switchable to right to left uh, position. It has medium stiffness, which is your standard uh, banded construction. Unfortunately, uh, they have they are using customized pivots, so uh, uh, the the adjustment is not possible without the tool. And uh, since I don't have the box because I tried to down uh, this one on the secondary market and the box was not included, and probably the tool got also uh, missing. But uh, this is uh, the pivot, very nicely decorated. So we have uh, functional jimping all over the place. So on the top and on the button back part. And I must say, uh, this has a really, really good uh, uh, purchase and also really good uh, traction. So uh, when I did my research about uh, this model, so there was also a version uh, which had um, 
the aluminum uh, scales and then they were nested with stainless steel liners. As far as I know, the 2.0 version uh, will have uh, the aluminum uh, scales on them. We have a nice beefy uh, blade stop, liner construction. perfect centering and this is a flipper or a thumb disc uh, opener so you can flip it or you can also okay so let's talk a little bit about the, the variations that were available like I mentioned there was a uh, aluminium version with the scales then there were two Zytel versions one with the black coated bladed one uh, with this satin finish. I would prefer to have a uh, full coated blade since this is 440C and this will stain on you without any problems just by carrying in your pocket. Uh, it is in the inch of the things. Uh, this 440C is not completely stainless but uh, has a better edge retention as let's say 440A or B. Uh, on the blade we have the serial number these were numbered. On the other side, we have automatic Kalashnikov 101 and Broker Plus. This will stay the same also on the on the new version. There is a nice swatch on the top. Uh, I don't know if the new version will have it. And there is the disc opener. There was also a 65 year anniversary of the uh, Ultimate Kalashnikov as a weapon and uh, those, were, uh, those were limited to 650 pieces. There was a black and also a nice uh, dark green version of the scales and uh, some uh, limited edition uh, with a nice uh, stone wash blade and uh, Coyote Tan or Brown. Uh, scales were also issued for some uh, US based uh, dealers. Unfortunately, I could not track one down, but uh, that one uh, is probably one of the most uh, desired ones because it has the benefits of the stone washing and uh, really nice other color than just your plain black. Uh, okay, let's talk about a little bit about the pricing. Uh, so uh, these were priced around 153. 0.95 euros so uh, really really expensive was the uh, was the selling price here in Europe but uh, all over the world uh, there were discounts obviously for for these because they were made for such a long time 2007 to 2021 so uh, basically uh, when I could uh, look back um, on some sites uh, they were uh, sold from 67 to 87 um, dollars the the anniversary editions uh, they did cost around 129 dollars uh, to uh, 86 dollars depending on where you can get uh, get them uh, some uh, prices were on eBay some on Amazon and some also on different uh, sites okay so uh, but yeah uh, actually uh, I'm say this is uh, probably one of my 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 favorites. Uh, design for uh, from uh, Dietmar Paul. Uh, he also collaborated with a couple other uh, companies, uh, mostly not uh, taking in account his own company, is the company Eichhorn, uh, which is a uh, German, made, made, they are made in Solingen, Solingen uh, and uh, he designed a couple of designs for them. One of the most known are the Paul 1 and there was also the Secutor and uh, couple of others like the Caesar Caesar 2 uh, let's see if I can get my hand on some of those so I can uh, share them here with you in the future of course but the handle is really nice and comfortable as you can see really large so it will fit any size of hands as far as weight uh, this is not a lightweight knife so it, it does weight 207.3 grams or 7.3 ounces. So like I mentioned, uh, there is a new version uh, available. It should be uh, with the dealers. 
uh, at the time and I upload this uh, this video and uh, 2.0 uh, will have the, the model number 01KL105 and it will cost uh, the MSRP will be $139.95 uh, so it should be right around $111-112 for that kind of money, uh, yeah, uh, those will be made in D2, not uh, 440 c anymore. Uh, thank you very much for that update. But I would like to to have something else than than D2. But this is how they are making them. Uh, but uh, it's perfectly uh, perfectly nice upgrade from uh, 440 c, and they will be a coated blade, of course. So now, when I'm uh, uh, just comparing the design aesthetics. So one knife that comes in mind uh, for me personally is of course the Ernest Emerson uh, Commander. So uh, let me show you the, uh, the size uh, sizes or the comparison. So this is the Super Commander. So this is not the, the largest one. When I made a video about uh, this one, I did mention that uh, there are only three versions. So Super Commander, Regular and uh, Mini. And I was mistaken. There is also a micro, which is not made. I could not find it. And there is also a UBR or Uber Commander, which is also not uh, uh, made anymore. Maybe uh, they'll be in the future. But yeah, there were four versions of the of, of this uh, knife. So sorry, uh, sorry, five versions. Yeah. Now let me show you the pocket profile before I. With some other options so like I said this is a true deep carry really nice and I was really lucky that I did find this one on my uh, local uh, marketplace online marketplace and one uh, let's say uh, uh, nice person uh, had it probably somewhere in the drawer and they sell it for a really good price so yeah finally it is in my collection and uh, and these were available back in uh, 2007 to 2021 i did consider to buy one but yeah let's face it i had uh, so many other knives that uh, got higher priority uh, it took me a little while to, to get it okay also some of my subscribers uh, told me that they wish to see a little bit more uh, uh, knives that made in Slovakia so uh, I'm working on that in the future but for now let me bring out one of my first uh, dark edge knives so these are custom made by Paolo Jarabica and this is the devil's horn so almost a kukri inspired uh, small fist blade so here's the size comparison for those of you who like to see some more uh, knives made in Slovakia Okay, also one of my favorites, I had to bring it out, this is the RCC from Strider, not made anymore unfortunately, but if you uh, like to have one, they should be still available uh, sometimes on uh, Arizona Customs. I did check uh, last night and uh, there were, I don't know, one or two available, but these are really pricey, so be prepared to pay around uh, nine, uh, eight to nine hundred dollars for this. I know what I'm not made anymore, which is really nice. Let me bring back also the Super Commander to you can see the differences between the sizes of these. Yeah. Okay, so now let's see some more options I have here on the table. So if you are looking for something with a nice recurve, uh, I strongly suggest check out the Kershaw Blur. They are still available in lots of different designs. This is a uh, tried and true design from Canonian. Uh, yes, it is uh, much smaller than the uh, AK-101, but uh, let's face it, it's a beautiful functional or equal blade. Then I have here on the um, table also the CRKT Carnifex. It should be a Flavio Icoma design, but uh, if you are looking for something large and uh, durable, so this is full stainless steel liners with some plastic inserts to give it a better traction, but 
it has also a nice uh, recurve blade on it. Then from my uh, collection I have here also one an old Myerco Kirby Lambert design. I don't know if these are still available but uh, here it is. Then there is also a older version of the Utilitech 2. A, uh, this is a Joe Pardu uh, design. Really nice utility slash everyday carry knife. Now when we are talking about tactical knives I have to put also currently still available, still made, the Recon 1 series. Uh, I highly recommend. If you don't have the the money and the time or the the possibility to get a Emerson, then uh, check out these. Uh, these are highly highly uh, functional EDC knives. Really good uh, G10 on them. And what's to say more? Uh, get them while you can. Also, I can recommend the. This is the Spyderco. Um, Mm, resilience made in China but these are as far as large knives go really well made well built around uh, 70 to 80 dollars still a great uh, buy and they come also if I'm not mistaken in FR and handle scale so you can choose if you like to have a uh, G10 or you want uh, a lighter version of it Okay, now let's continue with some other designs. I have here on the table one of my oldest, uh, let's say, budget uh, commanders, or how to call it, uh, a substitution for Emerson. This was uh, the Right Edge Knight Commander. Maybe the size comparison is this a little bit smaller. But for around uh, 20 euros, I don't know, I paid maybe even less. It was a great design back then. I don't know if they are, they are still made anymore. So now let's continue with uh, Red Model 1. Spyderco Endura. Unfortunately, I don't have a paramilitary too, but uh, it should be around the same size as the paramilitary too. Uh, paramilitary, sorry. So this is the paramilitary too. From petrified fish, I have here the nine four nine uh, warrior. See here is the benchmade bug out USB penguin. CVV elementum. Full size gatillion. CGRB feldspar. Kaiser Big Lighter 2. Here is the Kaiser Knives Sheepdog XL. This is some on par with the sizing. Okay, let's see. Here's the peanut for size comparisons, and let's close down with the K Bar Doja Folding Hunter. So overall, I must really say that I'm really happy that Berker did uh, bring this uh, classic, true tactical uh, classic design back uh, to the to the offering for everyone. Now we can uh, can experience this uh, really good ergonomically designed knife and uh, 
I would probably a little bit happy if they would uh, put the pricing a little bit a uh, little bit lower than those uh, 111 uh, uh, dollars but uh, it is what it is in today's economy uh, everything it, it is going up so yeah basically this will be still a 85 to 70 dollar knife back like uh, 10 years ago okay with that being said, I would like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply to them again, of course. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Big, to, big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. With that being said, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.